Before heading into the news there, we would be in conversation with the National Empowerment Fund talking about uh, this newly launched economic distress fund that's aimed at helping black-owned businesses recover from the devastating effects of COVID-19. This new fund intends to offer concessionary business loans as well as equity funds with a maximum interest of 2.5%. Eligible businesses will be able to access funds from between 250,000 rands and 10 million in funding. That is some pretty darn good news. For more on this, we're joined on the line now by Mzuiwaba and Udaimani from the uh, NEF. Mzi, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon, ma'am, and good afternoon to your listeners. Um, perhaps, you know, let's start with you painting a picture for us, you know, certainly on the the scale of the devastation that you've seen as the NEF, the level of uh, distress that businesses are finding themselves in because of COVID-19. No, thank you very much, ma'am. Um, as you know, during the course of last year, a lot of businesses had to completely close down because of uh, the lockdown that we experienced. It was a necessary precaution on the side of government in order to preve- preserve human lives. That has had a devastating effect on businesses. A lot of businesses were not able to weather that storm. We've seen a lot of retrenchments. A lot of homes have lost their incomes. Uh, many people are breadwinners. As you know, that one person employed in a household could support up to 10 or more yeah. people. So the impact has been very dire on the lives of the people on the ground. It's not only on the businesses themselves. So there is a need uh, by government and other private sector entities to put together interventions that will assist in rejuvenating the, the economy. Mm. How does the fund that you have put together, together with the DTI, help businesses um, that have gone through the devastating effects as you have outlined for us? How does the how, how does the fund help in that instance? I mean, I, I made mention of uh, concessionary business loans. How would that work? Okay, so what we are saying is that a business uh, that that is financially distressed can actually apply, which is owned by black people, can apply to the fund. And financial distress, what we look at are businesses uh, that are unable to pay their debts as they become due um, for the next six-month period. Uh, the business uh, that whose operating activities, are, they are unable to fund them over the next six months Um, and businesses that we believe that has a fair chance of recovery provided that it can be granted the financial relief Mm. so a business needs to have what we call a turnaround plan so management needs to sit down and actually tell us that how is the business going to turn around if they were uh, given access to financial resources Mm. they can access the funding from the NEF can be a loan or equity up to 10 million rent at a concessionary interest rate and very concessionary terms of repayment. So what we're saying is that we want to give businesses a good chance of recovery uh, and they can access funding that would not necessarily be accessible from normal funding institutions. Mm, mm. Not to be, you know, a naysayer in the conversation, but I have to ask, I mean, we're fast approaching a year into South Africa's own, you know, dealings with the, 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 the this global health pandemic. Um, we know that hard lockdown was initiated, uh, you know, about a year ago. So why has it taken so long for the National Empowerment Fund to come up with this distress fund? Because a lot of businesses went under and are at the point now where they can't be resuscitated and I think many of them would have much needed this lifeline that you're offering right now. That is indeed correct. Uh, You will recall that during the course of last year we rolled out what was known as a COVID fund. Mm. So this is not the first intervention that the NEF is making in partnership with the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition. We rolled out that fund over the course of the 2020 calendar year where we supported businesses um, during the COVID-19 pandemic. The NEF also rolled out funding from its normal uh, funding activities. So we've always supported businesses, but what we're saying is that 
what we are seeing now is that the effects of COVID-19 mm. are becoming apparent in the business and there is a need for more interventions. Certainly, what we are putting in place now cannot be the only intervention. So we continue with our other normal funding activities, but this one is a focused intervention that, suppose, that supports businesses that are in distress. Mm-hmm. All right, so just to wrap up our conversation, Z, um, you know, sim- in a similar fashion to what we saw uh, right after the launch of the Tourism Equity Fund, your Economic Distress Fund is facing criticism for this, you know, what they are terming some a racialized dispensation. I mean, it's aimed at helping black-owned businesses recover. What is your response to this assertion that what you're doing is ostensibly racist? Indeed. So you will uh, you will recall that the NEF is the only entity in the country with an exclusive mandate of supporting broad-based black economic empowerment. Mm. So the NEF was set up specifically in order to, to finance BEE. Now what government recognized at that time is that we have to do more than what is known as formal equity. We need substantive equity. You cannot say that everyone is on the same footing if we recognize mm. that uh, apartheid was a crime against humanity. Mm. Now, if you look at Section 9 of the Constitution that talks about equality, it actually requires government to put together interventions that would assist groups that were historically affected negatively by the legacy of apartheid. And the NEF was actually a deliberate decision by the South African government so that it can support those black uh, businesses. So what we're saying is that the NEF is not against black, uh, against white business, Mm. but what we're saying is that we want black business to work with white business. And certainly within our funding, we've got a lot of businesses that are actually partnering with white companies. And there are a lot of white companies that are positive about this, that are actually supporting um, what the, the government is doing mm. in terms of supporting BEE. So this is part of nation building and that's the call that we're making to the countries that let us all work together. We all want to live in an equal country and we need to recognize that history has actually affected some of us negatively and we need to support each other in attaining that goal of an equal society. Mzee, thank you so much. We are going to have to leave it there. That is Mzee Daimani, who is the National Empowerment Fund's General Counsel on the line to us. They're discussing or detailing for us um, this newly launched Economic Distress Fund, uh, which is offering concessionary business loans as well as equity to uh, black-owned businesses that, of course, have been uh, devastated by the effects of COVID-19. 43 minutes past 12. Time for your market update.